Hello and welcome to the Maths Department at King's Academy, Ringma. My name is uh, Jeff Taylor and I'm the Director of Maths. We also have three other full-time maths teachers, Mr Quinnell, Mr Handley and Mr Williams. When Year 7 students arrive at Ringma, we quickly undertake a baseline test. This is to uncover any gaps a student may have in their key skills required to progress in maths. Here are some examples of the types of questions which we will ask. These key numeracy skills are the basics to making good progress and underpin a vast majority of topics learnt over the five years here at Ringma. Should a student be recognised as requiring some gaps in knowledge to be filled, we will provide some intervention and resources to help close those gaps. The students will require to complete catch-up work at home in addition to the work we do at school. Again. Here's just a small example of the type of work we'll be expecting students to complete. If we look at how math skills are interconnected, somebody here has developed the following image. Zoom into the blue square and you can see that percentage multipliers only connect to nine other skills. Compound interest would be one of those connections, for example. But if we zoom into multiply and divide, that's the big circle, there are loads of connections. Thus, the knowledge of times tables really helps with most mathematical skills. That's why we really focus on numeracy for the first half of the term. During the first half term, students are taught in mixed attainment groups. But just before half term, we will undertake another assessment. This is called the setting test because when students return after half term, the maths department will have set students. As you can see here for the current year sevens, we have two halves and set one and four would be in the higher sets or top sets. The information we take into account for setting is not just the setting test, but also the baseline test, CATS tests, and any information that we've received from primary school, as well as knowledge from teachers who have been teaching for the first half term. We would, this would normally have included, of course, SATS test results. We can't get away from the fact that maths as a subject consists of loads of seemingly pointless skills that your son and daughter will spend hours learning. But all of these skills slowly build toward a bank of problem solving techniques that will prepare you for your future. Even algebra. Of course, we realise that not everybody has enjoyed their maths lessons in school, but our philosophy at Ringma is to ensure that every student makes progress every lesson. Every student feels able to ask questions. Not every lesson will be fun. It will be hard, but every lesson will be enjoyable and rewarding. In 2018-2019, the last time the school actually sat GCSE exams, I was proud that in maths, the Progress 8 score was plus 0.38. That means over one in three students scored a grade higher than expected based on SATS results. I set an ambitious P8 target of plus 0.5 for 2019-2020 and felt confident we would have achieved this but as you know, exams were not taken and our P8 score was actually much higher at plus 0.98. In addition to this, 5% of our students achieved the highest grade possible, grade 9. And don't forget, maths can be extraordinarily useful at times. Here, even I didn't know whether I should buy one or two cartons of orange juice. Thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you next year in year 7 in 2021. Hard to believe, I know.
Thank you. Do you think maths lessons at King's Academy Ringmas prepared you for your next steps? Yes, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. That's good news, I think. Molly, I how think has it prepared you? If you were going to take A level maths, then it's a good foundation. And also, like Matt said, with economics or business, then it's good starting information to go on. Excellent. Brilliant. And are any of you thinking about taking maths that step further, doing A level? Yeah. How yeah. did you survive maths lessons during the lockdown? The online lessons are really good and very helpful. We managed to learn quite a bit, even though we weren't in school. They were easy to follow as, as well as educational to help us yeah. actually learn. So do you, do you think you actually learned something over lockdown? Yes. Yeah. yes. Good. So you sort of stayed on track for your studies? Yeah. Yes. Excellent news. Well done, guys. Um, do you... Uh, <laughs> Do you think in um, sort of eight, nine months' time, whenever the GCSEs are sat, that you're going to pass it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And what do you consider a pass then? Five or above. Five or above. And have you not got targets higher than that? I have. Yeah. I do have targets higher, but I don't want to. You don't want to say what they are? <laughs> no. Any of you thinking that a grade seven and over is for you? Yeah. Probably. Mm. Yeah. That sounds yeah. Bad, yeah. Uh, so I have a question on behalf of a year seven I spoke to today. And uh, when they joined the school, they wanted to know how much more difficult the work would be in maths than it was in primary school. That's a good question, Matt. And obviously, there is going to be a little bit harder when you move from year six into year seven. But we try to make that step up as comfortable and easy as possible. We have lessons that focus on numeracy, and we try to make those sort of like as interactive and as fun as we possibly can. And so, at the end of the day, we've got that flow going from year six into year seven with the transition. But the step is minimised just simply because we try to make it as comfortable as humanly possible. But we are going to be working hard. Thank you very much. Cheers.